is good everybody welcome to an epic mighty up toys video today ladies and gentlemen we have some brand new wwe action figure images and news for you guys coming at you very excited to get into it we got some brand new elite figure images of some brand new figures that are coming very very soon to us and i want to go ahead and dive right into it guys so let's go ahead and get started with it so a wwe elite series 81 should be hitting very very soon we have our images here today in the packaging we don't have you know the in-depth loose images just yet but i have a feeling they are coming very soon so starting out first guys we do have Elite Series 81 Shinsuke Nakamura. We have both versions. We have the Chase variant version, which is the black and red, and we also have the regular version, which is in the blue and black. Now, this is a figure from Elite 81 that we already saw. We've already seen the images. We've already broken them down. We talked about the neck that's weird. We talked about the head sculpt. We talked about the Intercontinental Championship that comes with this figure, and it looks like they're going to keep up with that certified, authentic WWE sticker and logo that is going on the packaging, so that will be interesting moving forward. Again, I think they're going to do that because of the AEW figures is what I'm guessing. I could be wrong about that. That's just what my first guess is, but we have Shinsuke Nakamura. The next figure, guys, which is brand new, is going to be the Elite 81 Rock figure. Now, I can't remember what this is from, like what moment this is from, but you guys can see it's it's basically just your, your average Elite Rock. I don't really see anything uh, really crazy about it. The only thing I can say is that it does look like he has his brand new uh, Brahma Bull tattoo, but it's the new version. You guys know the realistic version that's on his shoulder now. He covered up the Brahma Bull tat. This is the updated version, and I can't really make out most of it because it's so zoomed far out, but I can get some of the details in there, and it looks alright. This figure is just super plain Jane. I feel like once this hits retail, it's gonna rot on shelves, maybe. It just looks super plain Jane. Hopefully his legs are on ball joints, maybe, so we can make guys in long pants. Hopefully that'll be the case. You guys remember back in the day, everybody wanted to track down that referee elite HBK for those legs so they can make Jeff Hardy's and all that stuff. Maybe this guy will be on ball joints like the TNF Rock was where you guys can make long pants elites and, you know, guys in jogging pants and all that different stuff. Maybe some referees and stuff. But he does come with a cloth tank top, which is super sick. You could use that cloth tank top on a bunch of different guys. He comes with a microphone. It looks like it's the same rock head sculpt we've seen a million times. And the only thing I don't like about this figure is the torso. Now, I thought it was the Elite 16 rock that, that I wanted to have this torso, but it's actually the Elite 22. Rock. So if this thing had the Elite 22 Rock torso, it would be a hundred times better. I think it'd be a lot more accurate. You guys can see how damn massive Dwayne The Rock Johnson is on the front of the packaging there. Like, Look at his shoulders and chest. I think that the Elite 22 Rock would have replicated that much better. And so it's funny that they give Roman Reigns the Super Jack torso, but then they turn around and give The Rock this torso when Roman Reigns probably should have this torso instead of the one he gets. But that's just me. I'm, I'm fine with the Roman Reigns torso that we get. I'm just saying if you wanted to make it more realistic, I feel like they would swap these two, but uh, yeah, I would have preferred the Elite 22 Rock torso for this guy, but there's the Rock. The next one, guys, is going to be Stunning Steve Austin. Now, this one's beautiful. I think this figure looks great. I love the head sculpt. I like that we're getting the WCW Tag Team Championship. Hollywood Blonde. Stone Cold Steve Austin is looking really good. I like this. Flashback collectors are going to have a whale with this. The head sculpt looks fantastic. I can't wait to get it in here. Maybe we can get a couple of them, and we might be able to customize this head sculpt and make a Stone Cold Steve Austin head sculpt smiling. I know we already have, you know, the, the ringside exclusive, and we've seen it on different basics and things of that nature, but I think this would be slightly different if we got this in here, you know, did the bald technique like we've done with Braun Strowman and Finn Balor, uh, tweaked it up a little bit, and then repainted the beard and the eyebrows and stuff, we may be able to make a really cool Stone Cold Steve Austin with him smiling. So we'll have to see about that. I don't know about that just yet. It's not 100% concrete, but that's just what I thought of when I looked at this, and I thought that might work out pretty good. Next up, guys, is going to be Mae Young. We have Mae Young here, and this figure looks great. You know, I, I don't think I'm going to ever see this figure at retail. Like, It'll probably be a long damn time before I get this figure in my collection. I want to put her in the pick fed in some capacity, but I don't know if we're going to be able to. She has the Mae Young trophy right there. You have uh, her beautiful cloth gown going on, her entrance coat there. You got the crown. This figure looks great. I like the image of Mae Young on the front. First time in the line. Looks really good. And uh, it's something that I want to track down, but I'm not going to pay outrageous prices for. So we'll just have to see how that all goes down. But Mae Young is definitely looking good. Next up, guys, are the Street Profits. Now, these look great. It looks like they may have have tweaked 
Montez Ford's head sculpt. If you guys can get in there and see, he has his gloved hands, he has his glasses, his crown, his entrance shirt. His entrance shirt is rubber, it looks like. But you guys will notice that Angelo Dawkins seems to have a cloth jacket. So maybe you can get the cloth jacket from Angelo Dawkins and plug that onto your Montez Ford figure. At least that's what it looks like. It looks like it's cloth. I could be wrong, but it's looking cloth from this angle. And maybe you can get that Angelo Dawkins hoodie or jacket or whatever that is and plug that onto your Montez Ford if you guys want to do that. Similar to what we got with Jimmy and Jay, if you guys remember that. You guys remember Jimmy and Jay Uso from Elite 64 when we got the cloth jacket from Jimmy and we got the rubber jacket from Jay. So if you buy two of them or two of the Jimmys, you could get, you know, two cloth jackets. And so that's what I would do here. I would buy two of the Angelo Dawkins to have two cloth jackets to put onto the Montez Ford. And Montez Ford also comes with his cup and his tattoos and stuff. I will say the Angelo Dawkins figure looks massive. It looks like they may have used a Braun Strowman torso, which I'm interested to see how that looks in real life. It looks like this figure is going to be gigantic, though, like super gigantic. So I hope that it doesn't look too off in proportion to our Montez Ford and our other tag teams and other figures in our collection. So that will have to, you know, we'll, that remains to be seen, but that's just some of the concerns that are popping in my head right now. And if I did not mention it already, uh, Montez Ford also comes with his red solo cup, but it does look like his head sculpt is tweaked. It looks like the eyes are a little bit more open than we saw in the render image, so that's good to see. But the Street Profits, I'm really excited for. Can't wait to get them in here. Can't wait to pose them around, see what, you know, parts we get on these guys and see if there's any new technology or anything with them and uh, everything like that. The last figure in Elite Series 81, guys, is going to be Bianca Belair. Now, this one looks really good. I have no doubts about it that this will be really, really fire. You have the double-jointed knees. You got the bendable hair. I hope to God they put a bendy wire, a bendable, poseable wire in the Bianca ponytail. God in heaven, I hope to Jesus that's the case. Three pairs of interchangeable hands. She gets her glasses and her entrance coat, which looks great, and I can't wait to put her up next to Montez Ford and all of that. So, the full Elite Series 81 wave looks pretty solid. You know, there are some skippable ones in here, but overall, I like the set. I like the stunning Steve. The Shinsuke's new and improved. We got the Street Profits. We got Bianca Belair, so you got all of that. Not only do we have Elite Series 81, guys, but we also have images of the brand new Build-A-Figure Paul Ellering WrestleMania wave, and let's go ahead and dive into those, guys. So, first up in the line, guys, is going to be Goldberg. Now, this is pretty much a re-release of the mall, the, the mall, the Raw main event ring Goldberg Elite that we got. You got the Blue Universal Top Title, which is the first time that we're getting the Blue Universal title, and it looks just like my custom one in the color. So I guess my color matched up perfectly. I'm very excited to see that. The execution there was top-notch by Dr. Whitekiss, so you love to see that. But Goldberg looks great. I like the Paul Ellering Build-A-Figure. That will be really cool to see. Um, uh, you know, it's just your standard Goldberg Elite. If you've had the rest of the Goldbergs, it's pretty much the same thing, but if you guys missed out on that figure, this is going to be a great opportunity to add Goldberg to your collection because the WrestleMania waves seem to, like, hit, and you can get them all like really quickly they seem like they're in overabundance at retail so hopefully walmart's will stack up on them you'll be able to get them in there and get them in your collections but next up guys is going to be edge from his matchup at wrestlemania here with mick foley and this one i just don't know man i do not know i like the legs with the camo and i actually have the lita figure that matches this figure that i can easily put this up next to so that'll be really great for the review and really great for the, uh, you know, the the posing it around and, and comparisons and things of that nature. I love the entrance shirt. The entrance shirt's accurate. I love the bat, even though the bat is clearly, clearly warped. It is definitely a warped bat right there, but I like that the, uh, I don't know, man. It's just the head sculpt. I'm not big on this head sculpt. It's a new Edge head sculpt, but it just looks odd. I don't know who this is, but it does not look like Edge. The hair mold looks weird. I don't know. I definitely do not know about this. I'm not feeling this head sculpt right now. I feel like he should have been pissed off. He just kind of looks like he's in the middle middle of talking, and the eyes just don't look like Edge to me. I don't know. You guys can let me know what you think of that down in the comment section below. I do like the camo pants that we're getting. I like everything else about it. I just do. I just am not a big fan of this head sculpt, man, which is really disappointing. But uh, we'll just see how it goes. Maybe it'll look better in person. Maybe different paint apps, things of that nature. We'll have to see. But there is Edge from the WrestleMania wave. We also have China now. This figure is beautiful. This is a really beautiful figure. Not only is the face sculpt and everything of China really good, it looks just like her women's championship. The purple attire looks great. I like the skin tone that we're getting on this. Um, this this figure is better than her two-pack elite, in my opinion. I love the way this China looks. I like the head sculpt. I like the arms. Uh, the sculpt looks nice. She looks gigantic. She looks like she can crush your family. So this looks great. I love it. You got Rocco in the packaging with her. So this China figure, this is fantastic. It's so good to see China uh, coming back to WWE figure lines and getting her from Mattel in elite form is just so good, especially when the women's figures are actually...
actually really good now. So it's really nice to see China get this nice articulation and get them into our collections because I know she's going to add to everyone's collections. So there is China. She looks amazing. And then we're finishing up the WrestleMania Builder Figure Wave with Shawn Michaels. And this one is great, man. I love the head sculpt. I know I can't see it completely, but it looks good. It looks like we have a True Effects technology version of the ringside exclusive from a few years ago. We have a cloth entrance jacket slash entrance vest there. We have the black and white zebra attire with black knee pads and white kick pads. I think this is, I want to say this is WrestleMania 9 if I'm not mistaken. It looks good, man. It looks really good. He comes with the legs. He has interchangeable hands. This is a really good Shawn Michaels figure. So I feel like we haven't had a Shawn Michaels Elite in a minute, so this is really nice to see him come back here with a bang, and this this looks really good. I'm really excited for the full wave. Uh, besides, the, I honestly think the Edge may be the worst figure. It, like, like head to toe, like it, it has the most problems. Is At least it's what it looks like. That is the WrestleMania wave, but before we get out of here, guys, I gotta mention these basics. So we have Basic Series 114 before we get out of here, and I do want to get through my shout out but let's go ahead and dive into series 114 now these figures are shipping i think so if you guys like any of these basics i'm about to show you go over to ringside collectibles use promo code md toys to save yourselves 10 percent but let's get into it guys the first basic and probably the best basic out of the set is going to be shorty g or chad gable if you will he has his basketball shorts on his sleeves his knee pads his shoes the, he looks good, man. This head sculpt is phenomenal. I am loving this Chad Gable head sculpt. I'm going to get this figure just for the head sculpt to put on an Elite and maybe make an updated Elite Chad Gable because I don't call him Shorty G. I call him Shorty G because that's what the packaging says, but I am, uh, I'm definitely going to call him Chad Gable. I like this. I like this a lot. And I think you can make a really cool, like, updated American Alpha head sculpt with this Shorty G. I like this head sculpt a lot, and I think I'm going to update Chad Gable uh, from the pick fed and put put him in there because you know they're a part of the vindication tag team scene so chad gable looks really good love that head sculpt we also have a theme basic now this one is uh i don't know the hair looks super duper plain it's super flat it doesn't have any details the tattoos are the same the head sculpt looks good it's just the hair doesn't have a lot of detail the gloves doesn't have a lot of detail uh one thing this has that the elite doesn't is that it has a sculpted on belt so a sculpted on belt would have been really nice to see with the fiend bray white elite figure from the top talents wave this one does not with basic series 114 and he also has kick pads so that's a little off to me but there's the fiend bray white if you guys want a basic of him we also have the crayon attire or the coloring book attire for Kofi Kingston and this one is so sick I want elites of this I think I tweeted at Bill about this and so I really want to see elites of these guys in the in the coloring book attire but he's got the same top talents head sculpt he's got the white armbands he's got the white coloring book you know with the colors you know you match up the colors you read the coloring book it'll say one red two blue and then you fill in all the numbers with the colors I always loved that as a kid so seeing them come out in this attire was super sick and it's all white and it's just so sick how every pay-per-view it's like it got filled in a little bit more in every show so I thought that was really creative and uh, this is a great figure so it's not you know the most detailed and it is a basic but you know I want to see an elite of this guy and I want to see elites of New Day in these coloring book attires. Next up, guys, is going to be Ricochet. Now, we have the regular version, then we have the Chase variant version. You have the regular version in the yellow, and then you have the Chase variant in the tealish mint green color. And it's the same John Brown head sculpt that we have seen for years and years for Ricochet. So, just, I mean, every single Ricochet will always have this, this head sculpt. And you know what? It's not a bad head sculpt. It's a fantastic head sculpt, but it would be cool to see a different one sometimes. But, I mean, I guess wouldn't you rather them keep doing the same great head sculpt instead of changing it up and giving us a ridiculous, cra crappy, awful head sculpt? So, I don't know. We'll, do, we'll just have to see about that. But, uh, you guys will notice he actually wore kick pads with these attires. And, you guys will notice he has boots on and he has lower legs black. So, it's kind of like semi-Johnny Gargano syndrome. He also has the one and only knee pads. If you guys want to pick these up to put on his elites. It would actually be pretty cool if you put this yellow and black basic knee pads on his network spotlight. Since that's a yellow and black attire that might actually look pretty fire i'm not exactly sure but the last basic that we're going to talk about the last figure that we have guys is going to be the basic series 114 rhea ripley you guys know that she is a part of elite series 84 which is still a ways away but so we we do have her basic figure in here and this looks solid you know it's not the greatest thing in the whole universe but it's not bad by any means i like rhea ripley a lot i think this head sculpt it's kind of like a mix between True Effects and the old cartoony head sculpts. It's like it's missing some details or something, but I still like the likeness. It looks like Rhea Ripley, but I am excited for the Elite. I think the Elite's going to blow this out of the water, but I think that is all the images that I had to show you guys. If you guys 
would like to uh, let me know what you think of everything down in the comment section below. I'd really appreciate it. Before we get out of here with all of the news, I do want to give a huge shout out, guys. So be sure to comment and leave me a like down below if you guys would like a shout out in a future video. But a huge shout out to Dragon Breath 73 for this comment on our horror battle royal yesterday. He said, "Who you call him, Pinhead? I love the SpongeBob reference right here. Had to absolutely shout this out. So huge shout out to Dragon Breath 73 for the Who you call him, Pinhead?" comment on our video yesterday and I had to like that because Pinhead did or, you know he he participated in the battle royal and I I named him I said you know we got Pinhead and then he's like who are you calling Pinhead I thought that was great so I wanted to shout that out so huge shout out to Dragon Breath but that is going to do it for the news guys thank you so very much for watching let me know what you think of the figures down in the comment section below and everything like that follow me on Instagram and Twitter at my damn toy subscribe to the channel comment down below for a future shout out and I will see you guys in the next video thank you